Hey guys, welcome back. Modi here, and I've got a exciting, weird video for you today. So uh, I'm going to give you a, a very short little backstory to this. So um, as you guys know, I'm a big fan of the Lego brand modulars. Um, I'd love to have all of them for, for you guys that might be kind of new to this. Uh, they've made 18 or 19 of them over the last 18 years. Uh, they usually have about one a year. There was two that came out in one year. It's a whole thing. Anyways, and but they generally retire them. So of the 18 or 19, there's five that I think are still in production, being able to buy in stores as of the time of this recording. And they're literally the ones we have. There are some of the ones we have. The Boutique Hotel, uh, the Bookstore, Assembly Square, the Jazz Club, and the Police Station are all uh, still in production. And then you guys have seen recently, we did uh, the detective's office right there. And we did the downtown diner, which are two that are retired that I was uh, luckily a uh, family member got for me. Um, and it's great. The thing is, is that for about a year and a half now, probably almost two years now, um, if I found any like out of the world, amazing deals on bulk Legos, I would, get them and that and I was in preparation for doing all this and for a lot of the time when you guys see me make a build especially like the Nick build ones and we put the the different parts and stuff in them um that's where I get the pieces is, is from the back of them. so I thought well what if I printed out the list of one of these modulars that is six hundred dollars used online and I went through my stuff and saw how many pieces I get so that's what I did and I went through, and I had a pretty decent amount. Then I kind of looked online, and it was still going to cost me like over $100 to get the pieces I was missing. Because, of course, the ones I were missing were kind of the, you know, rare colors or high quantities and stuff. And then I went and checked out a website by a company called WeBricks. Now, WeBricks makes bricks. They make their own version of Legos. Um, and from anything I, anything I had seen on them or read on them, they were very decent. So I put in all the pieces I was missing and it was like 30 bucks to get everything else I was missing. So I ordered them and, uh, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the pieces I had. There was a few minor things I get, I can show you guys in a bit that I had to get in a different color. But overall, everything is just like the one. And it cost me 30 bucks plus pieces I had accumulated over years. So uh, I think it's pretty cool. So first of all, let's get to the build. And then we'll take a look at the, uh, the modular itself and go through that. And then get it placed in the city. Let's go.
All right, so here we go. Now this, uh, and I, I don't know if I said it at the beginning of the video. So you, you saw the thumbnail, you saw the title. This is what is known as the pet shop. Now, this is kind of a weirdly risky video because if there's any people out there that are Lego purists, they're gonna lose their mind that I used non-Lego parts to build an official Lego set. Let me just say this before we get into it. It is a retired set. Um, if So in my mind, I would be buying it third party from a collector, which is the reason the prices are so high up, and Lego wouldn't get any money. Um, Technically, I could have bought some of the parts from Lego, but at the same time, the parts that I needed, Lego doesn't even make some of them anymore. So really, this by doing it this way, it was not taking any money out of Lego. I understand that when I go to resell this, it's not going to be worth that $600, and I'm fine with that because I just want to have it. I think they're neat. So, um, All right, so this one is kind of like the bookstore to where uh -huh, it's two different Lego modulars. You have a townhouse and the aforementioned pet shop. So we'll start with the pet shop and uh, we'll kind of go through this one. And I'll try and talk about, you know, certain pieces. First and foremost, this blue is referred to as sand blue. And it, there's a ton of pieces, obviously, you see. And that's actually what a lot of the cost was going to be because I had like one piece of that color. So, all right. So we have, we'll start at the bottom. I can get these apart. All right. So this is the pet shop. And we can move the stairs out of the way. You can see we've got a, a, a dog right there. We've got a cat over here. We've got a fish tank with a fish inside of there. And then, whoa. <laughs> and then uh, we've also got a couple parrots in the window. If you actually look through the front, you can see them right there. We've got some pet toys and food and stuff. We've got a register here. And then we've got a door that goes out to the back. Now, like I said, most of these sand blue ones are the ones that I got from Webrix. And they look and feel great. Uh, back here, you have a bike. Now, of course, I don't have any of the minifigures because, you know, that... I, I didn't have, but I'll, we'll find some minifigures to put in here. Uh, this originally was silver. I had it in brown. I don't think anybody cares. I don't. I think you know, it's mine. So we got a crate back there, and we've got some uh, bones and some toys out here. And then we've got this uh, staircase that leads up to the next floor. And in the next floor, we've got ourselves an apartment. So you can see we've got a small kitchen with a hob and a sink and a coffee maker. We've got a fireplace there. We've got a chair with a, a coffee cup and a clock up here. You can see right down here, this is the door that comes in from those stairs downstairs. Um, we've got some back windows. We've got some really nice front windows with some pink flowers. So all of that looks really cool. Once again, all of these blue pieces were part of that wee bricks. And then lastly, you have kind of like an upstairs loft. We've got a, a bed. You can see it's kind of open here, loft style. And we've got a lamp up there. Um, the bed is blue. In the original one, it was dark green. I had the blue pieces, so I used those. And then we have a roof that goes on top of here that has a uh, skylight. And as you can see, our dogs are loud. Um, and it has this brick built pets sign here that is kind of iconic to the set. That's a big thing. That's all Lego. That's none of the wee bricks. I did the iconic part in that. Um, these pillars were originally dark gray in the original set. I made them light gray. I think it looks better because the top is light gray. But overall, I'm glad how it turned out. I'm, I'm nervous because there's a lot of purists out there that are going to have a problem with it, but... If you want to give me $600 for a Lego set, my P.O. box is down below. I'll gladly take it. All right. The next one uh, is a townhouse that I find uh, extremely amusing. Let me show you why. So, um, first of all, we'll kind of look at the outside. We've got this wonderful bay window. Uh, we've got this fenced-in area. It kind of gives that sense that maybe there's like a basement apartment or a basement in it. And in actuality, there actually is a crawl space. We have a back door. But you can see we have a, uh, a crawl space to get it down in there. Now, this doesn't come off from the, that crawl space area. 
But one thing you can do, if you look in here, we've got a couch, we've got this little side table. We can actually grab the coffee cup, maybe. This is not built for big old man hands. All right, in theory, that's a trap door that can open. I'm going to end up blowing out this entire wall trying to get to it. So I hurt my wrist a while back, so I'm having some trouble with that. But there is a bathroom in here that you totally can't see or get into. But there is a bathroom. Can you even see any? Okay, cool. You guys can see it. Um, little hat rack, little flower in the window, phone. That's a, that's a home phone, kids. That's before your time. Um, now, that seems pretty standard, pretty cool, right? And then we get into the second floor. Now, apparently, they, they move their living room stuff in, but they're still working on the place. I love this. This minifigure is painting the wall white. Um, this is the only minifigure. I made it as close to the original as possible. And, yeah, so he's painting. You can see he has a paint can there. He has a place to get the paint and whatnot. Um, you can see the stairs come up and then continue on to the next floor. And, uh, yeah, really, really another one of the bay windows, little place for the water to go down, um, and really interesting designs there. And then lastly, you have the top floor, which, once again, they're just moving in. So there's nothing in there but a couple of boxes. Um, I think this is kind of a let's put an interior in there, but let people still kind of do what they want. This is pretty cool because these windows actually open onto a balcony. So it's kind of French doors, I guess you would call it. So watch, I'll close them again. So I think that's really neat. It's got a cute little balcony out here with a green door that goes out there and has a light. It even has a little stained glass window right there just for the hell of it, you know, just for fun. And you can see where the uh, this spiral staircase comes in. And then we stick this up on top, and you can see on both of them we have the place for the fire, uh, the chimney, coming out the top. And yeah, uh, they both have mailboxes. There's one here, and then there's one right inside of here, I believe, for uh, the upstairs place. And I love the fact that you can actually get up there without having to go through the pet store, which a lot of time it happens. Um, just a lot of really cool things. These are a pair of skis that are used for that. So, like I said, about 10 to maybe 15% of this build was Wee Bricks. Not sponsored. Not yet. I'd like to see what happens. Um, but it is a good alternative. Uh, there's a lot of people. I'm in Lego groups on, like, Facebook because I'm, I'm obsessive. And there's a lot of people who want these old modulars. But some of them run... A thousand, fifteen hundred dollars. It's little plastic pieces. So we bricks is something that, that I might use to be able to get some of these modular. So let's go ahead and get this in the town just for now. So I think we'll we'll take the uh, this guy here and right on the side of the diner, we're gonna go ahead and put in that one. All right, looks pretty good. And then we're gonna go ahead and take the actual pet shop. We're gonna move this guy out of the way and we're going to move, put him oh this is going to be snug snug fit but we're in and then move those forward a little bit and there we go we actually have builds all the way up oh that's why it's so snug <laughs> I forgot those pieces are there we'll take care of that later I'll take those off um but yeah there we go so the nice thing is you can you can climb out your window and go camping and, and, and there's nothing, nothing you would enjoy more than sleeping in your apartment and having the wonderful smell of campfire smoke just billowing in through your windows. That's, maybe that's just me. Maybe that's not you. Um, but I'm very excited about that. And, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to try and, and do more of these modulars and possibly have Weebricks help me. So, um, so yeah. Let me know what you're down in the comments. Be nice. I don't have a ton of money to be able to buy a $600 modular. I, I love my wife and I want her to stay with me. So it's one or the other. Um, and uh, I spent way more than $600 on her. So I really want to keep her around. Um, and okay, now it sounds like I bought you from Russia. 
whatever. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to support the channel, like, subscribe, click that bell. You can share these videos on social media. That will help as much as well. If you want to tell that weird kid down the street about the videos, go ahead. I'm not going to stop you. I don't tell you what to do. You're a grown-up or not a grown-up, whatever. Tell the kid. I don't care. Billy, Jimmy, what's his name? You know. Um, if you want to very much support the channel, you can do that by becoming a Patreon. Go check out the Patreon. Down below, you can get your name on the Founders Wall. You can get your minifigure in the in the town. And uh, you can also uh, get early access to all these videos um, so that, you know, you can make snide comments before everyone else. And that's, isn't that what the point of the internet is? To be able to be snarky to an old man on, the, on there before anybody else can. That's my dream. Um, and if you want to get uh, a build for the city, I have an Amazon wish list down below. Go check that out. You can add all kinds of different things to the city with that and get your shout out in the videos. And lastly, if you guys want to uh, have, if you guys have any Legos sitting around and you want to get them out of the house, my P.O. box is down below. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, and that's also where, uh, you know, oh, sorry. That's also where the, uh, you can spend all that money to me to be able to buy the, uh, the official one, so. <coughs> Anyways, guys, until next time, I want to thank you all so much for hanging out, and we'll see you guys later. Bye!